I also really love the fact that I got the sand color that kind of matches with the plaid of my pants. Hey everybody, Parker York Smith here. Welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, we focus on building your confidence through men's fashion and lifestyle without breaking the bank. If you like the sound of that, hit that subscribe button, join the gang. With it being the holiday season, I figured some of you might have a little bit of extra money in your pocket right now, so I figured it was the perfect time to drop a little haul. I've got seven different pieces. We're gonna go through them really quickly individually. I'll talk to you about sizing, and then I'm gonna tell you a little bit more in depth as to why I chose each one of these and why I think they'd be great things for you to have in your wardrobe as well. Let's go. Ooh, I almost forgot. Before we get started, I am six foot three, or this many centimeters. I don't know it off the top of my head, and I'm 180 pounds or this many kilograms. So that way you'll get a better idea of how these things are fitting me and how they might fit you as well. Up first, we have these gray, white, and very subtly brown checked plaid trousers. They're wool, they're a little bit thick, not too heavy. I got a size 32. They're a tiny bit cropped. The best way to style them, in my opinion, is to just go with a high top boot or a high top sneaker. That way it closes that gap and you don't even have to worry about it. You know how I feel about patterned pants. They're just such an easy style statement. It's an easy thing to plug in with just a plain t-shirt and a denim jacket, as you can see here, or you can dress them up a little bit as well, but it's just a really fun, easy style staple that I would definitely recommend everyone having. Next up, we have these black skinny fit distressed jeans. Now, to be honest, skinny is a little bit on the way out. It's not something that you're gonna see a lot of anymore. And I'm kind of trying to slightly move away from it because I do really enjoy straight leg or wider leg fits right now. But one way that I do still love a skinny fit is with a pair of boots. I just think the way that it kind of stacks a little bit on the top, it's very flattering, it elongates your leg, so a skinny fit can still look really good. And honestly, if you prefer it, wear it. It doesn't really matter what's in style or what, whatever. You don't need to worry about that. Just be focused on what makes you feel your best. But these are a really great style staple because it's just naturally gonna make you look a little bit more rugged, a little bit more edgy, especially with that distressing. The jeans are also a size 32, I forgot to say that. Up first, I have this light wash denim jacket. It's a size large. I am a huge fan of a lighter wash denim jacket because I think it can work really well, not only in the early fall and late spring, but also on into the winter. And I think the combination of the black jeans with the lighter wash denim jacket is really, really cool. So if you already have a dark jean jacket or you're kind of in the market for your first denim jacket, I think light wash is really smart because you can wear it with dark jeans, you can wear it with black jeans, or even these pattern trousers and dress yourself up a little bit. And again, a denim jacket is just such a wardrobe staple that to be able to get one at a super affordable price like this, it's just kind of a no brainer. The other piece of outerwear that I have is this sand colored puffer jacket that I love. I'm really, really feeling puffer jackets this year. They're such a versatile piece that are really warm and comfortable but it's fun because you could easily throw it on with like some sweatpants and be totally fine, but you could also style it with either pair of the pants that I have from today's haul and look really nice as well. I also really love the fact that I got the sand color that kind of matches with the plaid of my pants, so it just all kind of ties in together. Up first is this white and plaid button-up shirt. It's just very lightweight and breezy. Something like this, as you guys can imagine, it's very easily dressed up. You can tuck it in with some trousers. You could even wear it with like a full suit if you wanted to. But I also really enjoy it because it works as a perfect layering piece to create a little bit of a 90s vibe when you throw it together with the jeans, the denim jacket. The puffer jacket is a large, I forgot to say that. And this shirt is also a large. So. Again, it's just something that is able to be put in so many different types of outfits. I like the fact that it has that very subtle pattern, so it's not gonna be too in your face and you'll be able to wear it with a ton of different things. Next up, I have this slightly oversized gray sweater. I actually sized up to an XL on this one because I am really loving oversized knits right now. I just find them to be so comfortable and easily worn in a ton of different outfits. It's kind of like just a little bit of a heavier duty long sleeve t-shirt to me. And because of the fact that an oversized look 
is so on trend right now, but it's also so comfortable. It's like the best of both worlds because you can tuck it in a little bit in the front if you wanna kind of break it up, or you can just leave it untucked, roll the sleeves a little bit, and it works great on its own or as a piece to be layered underneath a lightweight jacket or under the puffer jacket. Having super versatile pieces that you can plug into all these different outfits and mix and match together, that's the stuff that you should be spending your money on, especially as you're building out your wardrobe, guys. So understanding a perfect gray color like this works with everything, so it's a no-brainer to me that it makes a lot of sense to put one into your wardrobe. And the final piece that I have today is this white oversized pocket tee. Now, a white t-shirt, what's the big deal? We all have them. The thing is, finding different sizes, different styles of white tees is very important in my opinion. So I really like the fact that this one is a little bit of a boxier, larger fit. I actually sized up to an XL on this one just because I really wanted it to be oversized. And anytime I need to have a base layer or I'm just looking to be extremely comfortable and easy with my outfit, throwing on an oversized tee like this is very, very stylish and fun because you can dress it up, you can tuck it completely in with a dress pant like we have, or you can keep it really edgy and stylish fashion forward with more of the skinny distressed jeans just by kind of tucking the front corner and it kind of mixes up the levels. It doesn't look too big and baggy. And there it is, seven pieces from Cotton On. You know how to style them. You know how they should be fitting you. You know so many good things now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I have some more hauls coming up very shortly as well. Uh, anything you're looking for from this video is down in the description if you wanna shop it for yourself. Obviously, if you have any questions about sizing or anything like that, you can leave them down in the comments or you can DM me on Instagram. Go follow me there for lots of other outfit ideas and style tips. Also go follow me on TikTok. I appreciate you guys watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I will see you on the next one. Bye.